Stefan from, uh, is, so is he going to change the name or is it going to be Automation AZ and you'll make up something for the AZ now that you're in Florida? It's going to be Automation A to Z. Okay, there you yeah. go. Right. So. so what the heck are we doing here? First of all, you're nuts for driving all the way here. But So well, you, you watch the videos? Is that how you found me on YouTube? Yep. Yeah, yeah. i seen the theater series and yeah. uh, how you put it together. And before you'd gotten the, uh, the Harmony yeah. um, set up. Well, you know, I had this crappy old Harmony from my, you know, from my makeshift home theater, my other house, and, yeah. you know, and I and I was talking about remotes in the video, and then that's when you reached out and yeah, said, hey, I bro, like, well, I can do this for you. Yep, yeah, might as well while, while I'm moving my business out so, there, getting so, in touch with Matt. So we'll, we'll hopefully find you some clients. Um, so this is this is Control 4's remote. It it doesn't mm -hmm. have the fancy touch screen like See, I never does. See, I never really cared for that anyway. I was always a big fan of um uh, Universal. Yep. You know, and because they were simple and easy to use and I actually like hard tactile buttons that way I can change channels and you learn the buttons on your hand. You oh know? yeah, absolutely. So, so with anything touch screen right. and and with Control 4 you can use your phone. Mhm. Mm but anything touch screen you, you're right you have to you know look at the screen you'll never exactly figure out where that button is and then right. it makes it so much. what uh is this is this um rf is this infrared uh, it, it uses a zigbee technology which is in the same range of wi-fi okay um so it's it's close to the wi-fi range um but it's a little bit better um, as far as so we have, do you have to put repeaters on every device? Well, actually, oh, yeah. I didn't know how many devices you had. So the it, in the brain it comes with or the EA one, sorry, and it has control for um, four devices. But I brought an extra thing just because I didn't know how many devices you have here. So it has four IR port, and then I brought a Zigbee to IR, um, which we can shove this up behind the TV, and then that way we don't have to run any wires. Gotcha. So this connects into the brain and then provides two additional ports. Oh, cool. So, and then it just plugs in USB. And so it are we going to be able to control the Caseta, the Lutron? Will it control that? It can. Gotcha. But I'm going to show you some Control 4 stuff that you'll probably like better than the, the Lutron stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get there. Cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out and grab my laptop. Okay. I mean, we could probably put it right on top of the Marantz, couldn't we? Or, yeah. let's see how much yeah, space it, do we have. Yeah, I mean, because I have I have the Harmony on top of the Marantz, so. But then you you also get other options, like you can do lighting and and stuff like that. You can do I I know you just got your ACs done, so but you do AC control and stuff like that, and it's it's all done from one main app. Do anything you you can think of on, and I mean you have you can tie into security systems, ACs, um, TVs the home audio stuff, shades, lighting, and I mean, you can pretty much do anything you want on it. I've done Yeah, it. I mean, the root, the root of, you know, of a lawn, or not a lawn, but um, control four is automation, right? I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, so, but there's, there's other things that you can do with it, like there's people who will put pressure uh, sensors under their kid's bed, and that way when their kids get out of bed in the middle of the night, they'll right. turn all the lights on to the hall, right. um, so they can make it to the bathroom, and I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it, um, but in this case, I mean, I just. But how hard is uh, how hard is programming? I mean, let's say in control in comparison to like Crestron or some other. So I'm I'm Crestron certified. In comparison to Crestron, mm -hmm. it is apples and oranges. I mean, Control Four is drag and drop. Uh -huh. um, they do all the coding um, within the software. So this is like the WordPress of uh, of automation. Is that <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Everybody says, and I like to say, if if you were to put it in like a, a car, I'd say it's about a BMW. It's gotcha. not, you know, it's not the Ferrari, it's not Crestron, mm -hmm. but it's also way less expensive than Crestron, and you get almost seventy five percent functionality. Yeah, gotcha. No, no binary coding. Yeah, so, gotcha. Okay. I I like Control Four. It's my go to. I used to do a lot of URC. I've probably done a few thousand URC remotes, but Control Four just with with the cost, I mean, your URC remotes are about a thousand bucks a piece, mm -hmm. and then you know, Control Four, you can get this whole system for like six, seven hundred bucks, and mm -hmm. then you have that option to move on and do other stuff too, mm -hmm. like lighting and thermostat control and connect into your air conditioning and stuff. So it's like you're paying less and you get more control. So gotcha. that's why we've switched to Control Four. Right. Are you doing home theater as well? Are you doing AV or just automation? I do AV. Um, 
a lot of a lot of my clients are the just put it in, make it loud, and make it work. So yeah. uh, we don't do like a lot of really high end Dolby theaters and stuff like that. Right. A lot of people say, you know, I just want surround sound and make it work. You know. Right. Uh, very rarely do we get somebody as you know technical as you who'll go through and do the, all the acoustics and stuff like that. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, even my experience back in the day, you know, when I was doing, it was rare that you'd actually do like a full-on theater. It was just somebody would want something, you know, we want want it to, you know, a, a Bose three two one system, you know, but <laughs> yeah, they wanted yeah, the, exactly. they wanted the remote to work. It's and to... and see, I uh, I'm not a fan of Bose at all. I yeah. I don't like their proprietary stuff. Well, I don't like yeah, stuff. anybody who is just doesn't know any better. It's, yeah, it's garbage. Yeah, the the Bose stuff. It, it's all right if you're going to do it yourself and you're throwing it in and you don't care. But yeah. if you if you care and you, at, at all and you ever plan to do anything with it. So what's your ulterior motive here is that we're going to be automating my whole house, right? Is that the plan? Well, I, I figured I'd give you give get you me this Get me started. And, and then... uh, I'll let you look into it. And you'll, I mean, you can do spa control. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, I would love to do that someday in the not too distant future to you know automate as much as i can in the house i think it would be cool part part of it part of the issue with me is it's it's not something i'm i'm hyper obsessed with and so it's it's a bit daunting unless you're really going to immerse yourself in what you can and can't do yeah. or if unless you find someone like you the the problem is is that in like in most professions or most you know, technical things, it's hard to find someone that you believe in that you would turn over, you know, or, or, or delegate the decision making on that kind of stuff. So, yeah, well, with, with you, what I would do is I, w I would pull you in the loop on every little detail, yeah, um, and you know, get you involved. In, in well, let's do this, let's let's make like a great video here, and then uh, then we'll get me sponsored by uh, by Control 4, and <laughs> they'll pay your labor bill, there you go, and send me all the product, and then I'll sell it for them. <laughs> there you and then go. send you all kinds of clients. Well, the the good news is I I believe in the product and I really it sells itself compared to the competitors like Crush Draw, yeah. URC, Harmony. I mean, it does sell itself. For it's it's cheaper than you know the most, and it does it does a lot more. So. Man, I wonder where I'd be in this world. I was interviewing with Crush Draw and doing you know t taking over like the. Uh, what was it, the, like the Carolinas territory and where I would have ended up if I would have gotten that job. They wouldn't hire me because they said I was too young. Yeah. I was like, you guys don't understand. I am in, I'm a freaking machine. I'm insane. <laughs> I will I will know every, I will become the world's foremost expert in Crestron and they wouldn't hire me. So. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have this room in theater if that was the case. <laughs> that, that I'd be making the 75 case. grand selling, you know, crushed on products. This I've used this, and when I, you know, have employees and stuff doing it and contractors helping me, mm -hmm. I mean, I can give them a five-minute course on how to program Control 4, and they'll be ready to go. So it's cool. It's super simple, and, and there is more technical stuff and sides to it, right. but for basic stuff. Is great. there, um, is it Mac capable? Do they have Mac software? They do. Okay, good. Yeah, they do. I, I use a, a PC just because I beat on it. Yeah. And, uh, I don't want to be beating up a Mac. Okay. All right, well, let's do your thing. I'll follow you around. How do you start doing this? Um, well, I started it in car audio video. Yeah. Um, and it, it, with car audio video, unless you're doing just complete custom car audio video, there's not enough, there's not enough money in it. I yeah. Mean, best Buy. I started programming URC remotes, uh -huh. um, the universal remotes. And uh, it, I liked Universal. So uh, the company you were do was doing it for a thousand bucks, and you were doing it for two hundred, right? Yeah. Is that kind of how it? Yeah. How it go? And then you eventually. Yeah, yeah. I, I moved out onto my own about a year ago. All right. So how does this does this work? Similarly, where, where you have a database of, of product of model numbers, you know, and then. Yeah. So what basically what you do with this is uh, um, you'll get Control Four onto the network. Then it'll be well, then I'll be wireless. So once it it powers up and I I find it here on the network and then I can go through the setup and set it up to do wireless and then that way we don't have to have it hardline. I should bring a hard line into this room. I mean the the network switch is right behind this wall, is but it? my you know there's my ubiquity access point up there and. Yeah, you shut the lights off on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we just. We got a, a, a assigned an IP address, mm -hmm. and it'll. So this is basically like your project. And what I'll do is I'll add your controller to the project. And I'll go ahead and make the first room here. 
So we're taking, so the main, so the control unit, that's the brains, right? Yep. The, it, and the remote is just a slave off of that? Correct. So yeah. wireless slave. Yep, and then you can also, client. Yeah. So versus like, you know, you see everything stored right in the remote, and mm -hmm. it uses the, uh, the RF devices to kind of repeat its logic, whereas everything is controlled through the brain with control four. And the good thing about control four versus like any other things is like they're, the processors in them, they try to build ahead. Like they have, they have um, right now programs running where they're paying to upgrade their clients because their systems are 10, 12 years old and you know, they're running them on their servers and it's tying up their bandwidth. So they're actually paying these people like, look, hey, we know your system still works and you're still using it, but you know, we'll pay you to upgrade because it's actually tying them down mm -hmm. running these old systems. So Control 4 always, you know, is two steps ahead as far as their equipment. So that way you're not constantly updating it like some of the other systems out there. Alright, so we're logged into the Control 4 site. I got my account set up. There's Stefan's contact for when you're ready to buy this crap. Hey, can you do this stuff uh, remotely? I can. So if, uh, say for instance, you come in here in the middle of the night and you want to hook up an Apple TV or something, and uh, you can't figure it out, or because uh, I'm going to give you the... Um, Control 4 homeowners software. Uh, if you can't figure it out, I can come in. Um, I can do it from my phone. Control 4, you can program from your phone. What about um, what about people that are you know sort of all over the country? Can they buy stuff from you and then? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because yeah, most of our most of the audience that's watching this stuff is pretty you know savvy, and so if they can get this, the equipment installed, then you can program it remotely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. They can reach out to me, and uh, uh, you know. I can walk them through it if they can, you know, figure it out themselves. I can give them a step by step, um, and then I can come in to. Program. Because people can't just buy Control Four products off the shelf, right? Correct. They cannot. But, but yeah. there are ways you can work with someone. Let's say they're in California or something, where you can ship the product, help them get the install, and then remotely program and. Absolutely. As of right now, I'm just gonna let the remote charge up a little bit because the battery came dead. Going to connect the. Um, the remote to the system from there we're already registered and stuff. I went through the account set up with you I already have all of the devices added into control 4 so I have the controller um, I have the AV8802 um, The blu-ray the Xfinity service and uh, the TV so gotcha. As soon as the remote's up and going, we'll take a look at all the connections. And unlike other software, it's it's super simple. We just go into control and and make the the are you virtual macros? connections. So are you gonna are you, do you have to macro it or do they have pre-programmed macros? Nope. So it, it's all pre-programmed. So so like I want to say, watch a movie and then it knows. Yep. So you 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 just have to tell it which input you want it to open. Well, no. Nope. All you have to do is you'll you'll select watch. Mm -hmm. And then it'll give you a list of your available devices, mm -hmm. and then you just select which one, and it, it'll automate to that device. But no, no macros. You can do custom macros if you want to, like if you want something to turn on in, in a certain series, like um, say for some reason there's a HDMI handshake issue with the TV, and you needed the receiver to turn on first or something, you could do mm -hmm. a special macro. So how the heck is it going to know? So so if I'm, you know, on the LG TV, you know, it's it's going to be HDMI 1, right, or 2, I don't know which one, it's one of them. And so so you, you let's say you're going to watch a movie, you know, the, the first the Marantz has to come on, yep. then the Blu-ray, because for whatever reason, the way I have the power center set up, you know, the 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 Marantz has to be powered on first, and so so Marantz powers on, Blu-ray powers on, TV powers on, then the you know the TV switches input to HDMI one, yep. the Marantz switches input to Blu-ray. So how the heck does it know how to do all that? With Control Four, they'll build special drivers. So the the driver for the TV it knows okay, this TV takes X amount of seconds to turn on. The the Marantz takes this long to turn on. So it, when you put those four devices, or three three devices, yeah, four devices, TV, cable box, Marantz, uh, and Blu-ray, Samsung's Blu-ray player, it, all of the discrete codes are set up in, in Control, Control 4, 4 software, Correct. and then it knows... Yeah, it'll it'll align it to the best possible solution, and all you have to do is make the virtual connections, and it'll know. Like so, I'll, I'll go through and I'll put okay the HDMI 
for the TV is plugged into this and, and so forth, but it'll know, um, and it'll also take some faster routes too. Sometimes it'll, if say for instance, I had a redundant wire, it would select the, the fastest route or the, the, the more advanced route. So say I had, you know, a stereo cable connected to an amp, but also a digital cable, it, mm -hmm. it'll automatically choose the, the digital cable. So are you gonna have to put IR emitters on everything? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Control 4 doesn't have blasters, and the reason for that is because blasters are unreliable. You know, say you had a door open, or, or say you had a light bulb that was putting off, right. you know, something that'll interfere with it. it it's always best. So, what I've always done with the TV is I just put it here. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll work, and it'll, it'll bounce back at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that'll be perfect. So, that stuff, is it really that easy, or you're just that good? Um... It's that easy with Control 4. Control 4 is big and they're partnered with a lot So once of you got the IP for my Caseta, mm -hmm. right? The reason why we weren't getting an IP is because for whatever reason that outlet over there isn't freaking working. So I took it and plugged it into the switch, which is a better place to have it anyway. Yeah. So once we did that... Then once once it gets control of it, it knows. So And all we'll do is set up the IDs for each device and then we can take control of them and then you'd just be able to control them from, oh. from the remote. We don't have to pull out your phone every time. Gotcha. The, the cool thing is because you have um, you have the option of downloading the Control 4 app, you can still use your phone. Um, so now when you come into the room to watch TV, you can turn it on with your phone or the remote. Yeah, I don't want then, I don't want the phone. I want that. Yeah, and then yeah. also shut the shades off with the same remote, so you're not pulling out your your phone to right. do two different things and to help you. So out. so you got the lights and. Uh, so do you need me to set up the Wi-Fi and the Marantz? I think that's gonna work. Yeah, if you want to run through it on your on your uh, remote and yeah. set it up, and and I may be able to take get a new IP address. Um, but using Control Four, they have this SDDP trace. So even if it comes back up on a different IP address, it'll be able to trace it through the network by the MAC address and gotcha. find it. So we've got the lights. We've got the drapes. We've got the Marantz now, so we don't need that serial cable, theoretically. All right, so we just pulled the TV off so we can run IR, because the, the darn IR is right here on the thing. And we can't catch a signal from back here, so. It's nice dealing with OLED versus plasma. That plasma, we would have been sweating. <laughs> We'd have had to move everything out, brace ourselves. So show me how this works. I'll never have to touch this, right? No, no, I'll... You reach out to me and I'll do it from home on a Sunday afternoon, so. So this is software you, a uh, consumer can't get anyway, right? Yep, nope, this this kind of software, the, the consumer can get a homeowner's edition, mm -hmm. you have to be a dealer in order to download. And one of the things about it is it'll make you log in and verify every time, so you can't go out and like, get a copyrighted version, or a, a yeah. pirated version, you have to log in each time. Mm -hmm. What does the darn remote look like? I haven't even thought about that yet. Well, it won't be on the remote. Okay. Um, on the remote, I, what I'll do is I'll select one of these buttons for you, the, yeah. the one, two, or three, and then you can just dab one of those and it'll do the same thing. But this is yeah. for when you have your phone out. We'll do it on, just say number one there of that one. So you'll come in, you'll hit that, and all the shades will go down. How are you doing lights on this thing? I guess you'll show me in a minute all this stuff. Hit list, the, the list button, and then you have right. lighting. The, this is the select. Uh -huh. Yeah. What the heck is that? Home? That so if you wanted to, you could hook Control Four to the TV, mm -hmm. and it would give you the same interface that you had there on your phone on the TV. Um, I I don't hook those up because it just makes it more confusing. So that button is gotcha. essentially dead. Um, I could make that do something else though, like run your shades up and down or something like that. So it is. I can change it. Down. So I'll create the button and I'll we'll add some names to it and then I'll go into programming and uh, this is where macros start to come in. So on here, so it won't show an all off here, but it'll be, we'll do it right here. Yep, on that, that number one, um, they call it one, two, and three. So could we program lights one, shades two? Yep. Yeah, we and that way that. I don't even have to go into the list. We can just go boom, boom. Yep. Focus. Yep. Focus. And I, I changed the color on that. You can change it to whatever you want, but I made it look something like uh, your 
obsessed garage color. Yeah, like but you that. can you can put whatever color you want. It has like three different shades of blue. So can we move, so we have cable Blu-ray, and then I have to go all the way down to the bottom to watch TV. Can you change the order of those things? Yep, yep, I can change the order, and I'm going to delete some of that stuff, like yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff you don't use, like Pandora yeah, and like stuff all of like it, that. Yeah. So you'll, what you'll essentially have is TV, LG TV, so you can watch the, the smart apps through there, mm -hmm. um, Xfinity, and Blu-ray. Yeah, and then listen, I would like to have, because I use Spotify through... Do the yeah. rants. Okay. Yeah. Sit down and actually make a, a pretty big macro out of it. But for the meantime, that one custom button that I made you is here. So you'll hit list and custom buttons, shades, all close, all open. Mm -hmm. And then if you go back, you have the lighting. So you can control it like that. Gotcha, perfect. Um, eventually, I will link it to these. Okay. Well, yeah, as long I'll, as I have that, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot you an email because I'll probably do it um, later this evening or something. I'll shoot you an email while I'm sitting at home and say, hey, you know, I, I got the buttons in. So... Um, you'll come back in and you'll pick up the remote and it'll refresh and then they'll be there. Okay. So, other than that, I mean, all you all you really have is your watch and listen and you know. All right, so so let's do let's run through a couple scenarios. All right, I want to watch uh, Netflix on um, LG. Okay, right. so so you'll hit watch. Your Netflix is controlled through the TV, so you'll yep. select the LG television. Once it turns on, it does have a long turn on period. Yep. Um, once it turns on, you'll hit the guide button, yep. and then you'll go to Netflix, center button for select. And you're good to go, right? There you go. And this has already turned back to TV audio. Yep. So when you start to play something, probably not YouTube approved. Um, yeah. And so then... And you have volume controller. So now let's watch a movie. All right. You just hit the watch button yeah. and jump right over to Blu-ray. And it'll do all the connections for you. It's the right input. In this case, we already, I think we had something playing or set up to play. Yep. Want to do, do cable? You select the watch button, yep. go to Xfinity, jump right over. All the buttons will work the same as they do on the original remote. So colored and, and guide and stuff like that. Volume works through the receiver. I mean, it's it's pretty much... So now let's say, let's say we wanted to... Like if I wanted to control a component like the receiver, like let's say I wanted to switch inputs on just that, is that possible? It is, and and I'll make it possible for you if you want to. But for for the basic homeowner, um, they don't want they don't want that functionality. They See, just I always want that because like to you know to go into each, each individual individual device. Yep. You know how do you do that? So in, in that case, what you what I'll do is I'll add it in. Like say you want to add a, um, right now I took them out, but it'll be right. under watch. Um, I'll add the Marantz back in, and what you'll do is go in and and play with any of the settings or stuff you want to adjust. Like if I want to switch surround modes. Yeah. Yep. You know, I want to change from uh, from Dolby to DTS. Yeah. Well, if if, like there's, if you make a list of like something you really specifically wanted to do. Um, all the time, I could like make one of the custom buttons toggle the surround modes, so you could sit there and toggle them without actually having to change and go into the device. Because once you go into the Marantz device, then you have to go back into whatever it was you were before in this case, mm. Xfinity, or just changing inputs if the thing gets out of whack or something. I mean, I don't well, know. with Control Four, it's not going to. Once you mm. shut it off and it comes back on, it's going to change inputs every time. It's going to tell the TV go to input one. It's going to tell you know the the Marantz to go to um, the TV audio when you're you, you know when you're watching Netflix and stuff. Right. So every time it's recycling and resetting and making sure it goes back to the same device. Gotcha. So even if I were to go down here and and change the input on the Marantz, change it to like aux one, and then I yep. go here and and go watch Xfinity again, it's going to reset that and put it back to the cable input. So you don't gotcha. have to worry about it getting out of sync, but I will put that in there. So I guess the only thing that I would want to do, yeah, then would be, or setup, you know? Yeah, if you if you change something in the room and you want to redo the setup and stuff. Right. I always say, 
And grab the this, other remote. Yeah, grab the other remote. This is going to be your come in. You just want to watch something on Netflix and stuff like that. You're you're a little more particular than yeah. you know normal. All right, so I I but. need the Marantz, the Blu-ray, the Xfinity, and the TV device. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll put them back in there. But for for basic functionality, generally, what you do is just hit watch and. And yeah. go into them, and then we'd do something like a toggle from yeah. surround. Yeah, yeah, that's that's for babies. I'm the real <laughs> I'm the real deal here, bro. Come on. So yeah, we'll we'll get that set up. But other than that, you just hit room off, and it'll right. kill everything. Is this uh, are they rechargeables, or is it just yep. a regular battery? Rechargeable uh, lithium ion battery. With oh, okay, the, there's my cradle. The cradle, and yep. right now it is dead, but it'll light up green once it's charged. Yep. I figured you didn't want to see that, so I yep. shoved it under there. Yeah, and I'll get rid of the I'll get rid of the the Logitech. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's it. It, it recharges, and uh, I mean literally, they awesome. have really good batteries. I yeah, you know, usually go about a month on a battery. Yeah, man. Because the the uh, the Logitech batteries are terrible. Yeah. So with like like we had talked about with you know Logitech, you get all those crazy graphics and stuff that you just don't need. I mean, you're not coming in here to watch your remote. You're coming in here to watch your TV. So. Mm-hmm. There's my shades. The shades are down from doing the all closed. Let me go all open. Boom. Sweet. I like the feel of this remote too. Yeah, it's a, a lot easier in your hand than that. Thing. Yeah. Um, there's other cool features you can do with it too. Like say for instance, you had one in the house for the kids mm -hmm. and they lost it all the time. They have a speaker on that so we can send a two-way code back to it. It'll sit there and beep until you find it. Shit, Pick yeah. up a button. So have yeah. little cool features like that and stuff. Yeah. That you're just not going to get out of a Harmony remote. Yeah. Awesome, man. So fun. I love this kind of crap. So let's put it on the... Actually, let's go... Oh wait, what's my all off? Just that top right room off button. Oh yeah, up there. Um, I missed that. The Xfinity will not turn off, and the reason for that is it, if you it's have a... something recording or something like that. In reality, they stay on all the time, anyways. All it does is cut video feed. Right, because they never—they don't have discrete codes, right? Yeah, so it'll stay on all the time, and uh, then you right. don't have to worry about it. Gotcha. How did you do that? What's that? How, how did you leave it on all the time? Uh, well, Control 4 knew that it had didn't have right. discrete code, so right. it automatically put it in, okay, just leave it on all the time. Gotcha. And it doesn't waste any extra power. Those things are like a computer, um, yeah. but they run 24-7, and when you hit the off button, all it does is kill that front light and kill the video feed. And yeah. That's it. So. Yeah, cool. Awesome, man. I appreciate, really appreciate it. This is, yeah. this is sweet. Yeah, we'll have to... Well, I, I this will be like this will be the start of the... Yeah. I don't really care about that. It's just Lutron made sense to me, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, once, what I'll, I'll show you some stuff with Control 4. See, like, even as far as, as buttons like these, yeah. with Control 4, you can go custom. I could completely customize this for you. So you could mm -hmm. come in and, and it could say whatever you want, you know, and we could make the buttons whatever size you want. So we right. could go completely custom. Where With this, you kind of have to go with what Lutron yeah. provided you there. Cool thing about the Control 4 stuff is they have... Uh, LED feedback. So say for instance, we can make it to where the, the LED on this is red if the shades are open, just to remind you, hey, to shut off the shades as you're walking out. Something along those lines. Mm -hmm. um, as far as inside the house, I mean, if you were up in bed and you had a control four light by your by your bed, mm -hmm. you know, we could make the LED go whatever color on it and you could say, okay, there's a light on in the house and you could get up and double tap it and it'd shut all the lights off and then go. See, the thing that would interest me with Control 4 would be cameras, yeah. app-based app cameras, because security systems are garbage. They are. You know, and, absolute garbage. And, and they're a total waste of money and I'll tell people to run from any security contract yeah. because yep. they, I mean, it's gonna go off all the time. And, and no one comes, yep. right, yep. right. It yep. doesn't help anything. Yeah, so they're 100%. Waste of what money. you need to do is you need to know if something's going on, then you call the cops. Correct. You know, so you can program it so that my phone starts buzzing and I pull up the camera and there's some dude at my front door. Correct. I could even do um, send you text alerts, email yeah. alerts, stuff yeah. like that. We could put sensors on every door, control four sensors, and say you, you know, it'll send you a text when this door opens. Say you, you know, you have a, 
a valuable room in your house or something that you know nobody should be in. It'll send you a text and, you know, only you have the key to it. Somebody opens the door, it sends you a text, you, you know somebody broke into that room. Yourself, well, let's so. say, you know, let's say by next summer I'll have a million subscribers and I'll have people showing up in my house. So we're going to need to design a, a full, you know, system. Well, at that point, I'd say uh, if they're making it through that gate out there, um, definitely going to need cameras. Well, I got an AR, so that's helpful. <laughs> and a, a tap, tactical grade shotgun that I, I don't know how to load or use. And so when someone's in here, I'm going to be fumbling and shooting myself in the foot. Change from automation AZ to automation FL. Automation A to Z. Yeah, we're going A to Z. And we'll get rid of some, we'll probably get rid of the, a lot of the red. But I have the... The back half of the, the truck being worked on. And so you're going to keep your same phone number? Nope. I um, already have a Florida phone number, which I got to update to my site. But it's automationaz.com. Gotcha. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll have everything updated. Sweet. All right, brother. I appreciate you. We'll, yeah. we'll be, I'm sure I'll have you back. Yeah, absolutely. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor, the floor.